hardline Islamists in Syria have joined with so-called moderate rebels and are locked in fierce fighting with the Syrian army for the city of Aleppo. Years of civil war there has left most of the city in ruins, devastating its once powerful industrial infrastructure. But our correspondent Maria Fnoshna has discovered how the rebels nonetheless are still making money from what's just about left. Once Syria's business capital, industrial center and richest city. Now, Aleppo struggles to calculate the losses from almost four years of war. And the Syrian economy is sinking with it. This is what's left from Sheikh Najjar, the industrial city outside Aleppo. It used to be home to more than 1,200 factories and enterprises. 42,000 employees used to work here. Well, not anymore. The city, 15 kilometers from the regional center, was taken by the jihadist and Nusra group more than two years ago. Clashes have been more or less continuous ever since. Mohammed has been gone since fighting began. He says he cannot even recognize what used to be his family business. What's not destroyed has been looted. He believes what happened is part of a much bigger plan. We had a huge market in Aleppo, and it was competitive, cheaper than neighboring countries, a cheap labor force, enough power resources. All this affected neighboring markets. This is why the terrorists' mission was to destroy Syria through Aleppo, the country's engine. We take a tour around the city. Behind all these ruins are multi-billion dollar operations ground to a halt. But Tarek, who owns a textile factory, is among the very few here who's back on track. It's already cost him more than $100,000 and counting. He used to produce 50,000 meters of Aleppo's trademark tissue every month. That's now just 5,000. He also blames the militants for his losses. Aleppo is known for exporting, and I was producing things for export too, to all Arab countries. This is why they came here. Their mission is to stop exports and destroy the infrastructure and weaken our state. Sheikh Najjar is now free of militants, but a number of other industrial cities across Syria remain in their hands. When they are kind, they put ransom. Uh, when, they, when they are not so kind, which is usually the case, they put the gun to your head, then they take, they take your products and then they sell it. And then they, they, they make money and then they buy ammunition and they buy weapons. Very primitive and very criminal. Faris, the head of Aleppo's Chamber of Commerce, says the militants allow factories to work only if the goods are distributed in their areas for free. If they tell them, if you don't allow us to sell, then we cannot get money to buy raw materials, then we cannot be able to sell in your areas as well. So because we are dealing with really, you're not dealing with college graduates. You are dealing with uh, elementary uh, education level. Syria's half-destroyed business-centric north has dramatically shaken the country's economy and it remains the epicenter of war, which means even more losses ahead. Marif Roshnati, Aleppo province in Syria.